Change. Minnesota Lieutenant Governor Peggy Flanagan is the highest ranking native woman elected to executive office in United States history. So this name change is very personal to her. And she and I had a conversation about that this morning. News of the change was welcome, but it's fair to say for Lieutenant Governor Peggy Flanagan, it was news she didn't know she would live to see. I will also be honest with you, I didn't think we would, would ever be here. I thought that this fight would be a fight that my daughter would need to continue to fight for, for Indigenous people. But here we are. Today's a good day. Lieutenant Governor Flanagan wanted this change long before she held the office she now has. In fact, she fought for it because it's personal. As a Anishinaabe woman and most importantly as a mother, uh, I take this this very seriously. This is much deeper than just simply a, a team name that is a racial slur. It's about dismantling the you know native imagery uh, that is embedded in American culture. And this particular imagery and this particular team name that is labeled as offensive by the dictionary had to go. And the background behind the the term uh, is is that it was about uh, the the value of the scalps of Native men, women, and children um, uh, to to the government. And so this isn't something we should uh, just take lightly. This is a, a really big deal. And she is well aware that to some, still today, this isn't a big deal. You know, there's some folks who say, what's the big deal? Right, it, it's just a mascot. The reality is, you know, that there's been study after study after study that says that native mascots and imagery, these stereotypes, do real psychological damage uh, to native youth. What they also do is, you know, uh, they don't allow us to exist as contemporary people. They dehumanize us, and when you can dehumanize someone, uh, the policies, the investments uh, that you make or um, the things that you do to Native folks and not with them uh, become uh, more acceptable. And so to her, while again, today matters and getting rid of this name matters. We have more work to do. We still have the Chiefs, the Blackhawks, uh, the Cleveland Indians, and over 2,000 uh, K-12 schools across the country who continue to use Native mascots. Should those go too? Absolutely, yes. Native Americans are people, we are not mascots. So what's next for that Washington football team? A new name. The team hasn't said when a new name will be chosen. The old one is still listed on the team's website.